Friday night. It's Friday Night Insights with yours truly, Roger Lloyd. You know, that song by Sam Cooke is a classic in so many ways. I know you millennials and you youngsters don't know nothing about that. You're probably like, what's Roger Lloyd saying? What's he listening to? That's a song by an old um, Older gentleman, another generation. His name was Sam Cook. And the title of that song is Change is Gonna Come. The lyrics are it's been a long time coming. And that's how I feel about this industry. You know, this week, unfortunately, and one of our sister groups for this industry, there was a gentleman in another group giving his tips and his tidbits about how he wanted to help new cleaners in the industry. And a lot of guys took that as well. Thank you, we really appreciate this. And then, you know, some of the uh, veterans in the industry, they jumped on him and they attacked him with everything that they can or could. And yes, I don't agree with everything the gentleman said, but there's a way to go about everything. And I don't understand why if, you know, some of the veteran cleaners had a problem with this gentleman, they couldn't just inbox him or give him a phone call and like chit chat with him. But instead they wanted to publicly publicly bring it out and, you know, just kind of like, you know, make the guy feel like he wasn't helping no matter what he was still helping. See, the thing is in this industry, you can do it any way you want. If it doesn't work for you, well, then you have to try something else. If it does work for you, then you keep doing it. There's another gentleman that got into it in that group. And unfortunately, he left them. And he felt as though he was being attacked. And see, that's what I'm saying. Like, we have so many bigger fish to fry than attacking each other. Like right now, what I'm getting ready to share with you is something that some of you may listen to and a lot of you may not, but it's a tip. And I'm telling you beforehand, I will put this disclaimer out there. You can take it or you don't have to. Somebody will take this. Somebody is hungry right now. Somebody is desperate right now and they want some work. And they have more time than they do money. So I'm getting ready to tell you, not charge you, I'm getting ready to tell you 
what you could do to try to get you some work, but steady work. But you have to do the whole thing. I already started telling you about it last week. And a lot of you guys aren't paying it much mind. You know why? Because it's free. And I don't understand why something that's given away that's free, people don't see the value in it. But it's really valuable if you don't have money, but you have a lot of time. Listen, I try to explain to you the uh, about building referral sources. I just had someone inbox me uh, earlier today, and they were like, yeah, you always talk about that referral sources. What's that all about? Well, let's define it. Referral source. So we all know that we're told that we want to get referrals. We always hear by the veteran carpet cleaners, oh, my business runs off of referrals and word of mouth. My business runs off of referrals and word of mouth. Let me tell you something. That sounds so cool when you put it all together. It sounds like they don't have to put any money out, that people just talk about them and rip and rave about them. But they never tell you how they're getting these refers, referrals. Well, I'm going to tell you how you can build referral sources since referrals are key. Now, don't get me wrong. When the veteran cleaners are telling you that they, you know, their good business comes from referrals, they're not lying to you because it's not what you know, it's who you know. You could be a, a half decent carpet cleaner, but if you know the right people, they're going to refer you and those people will um, use you because Johnny Floyd told them somebody referred you to them. So you may not have none of the hottest equipment on the market. You might even have portables or CRBs or whatever you're using. And the carpets may be filthy. And you really have to try to clean them up. And really, if you had better equipment or different equipment, you probably could have did a better job. But see, because you were referred, Johnny told him to use you, you're going to get that job. So where am I going with all this? There's a wealth of money right around you that is calling your name. There's no cost on the front end or minimal cost, but all the real expenses come on the back end. But that's okay, because if you already make, made the money, then you know you got to pay some money out. That's just the way of life. If you want to have lights, cable, a cell phone, anything, at the end of the cycle, you have to pay the bill. And so that's what I'm trying to help you understand. Reverse the way you're doing it. Don't put all your chips in the basket with Facebook. Don't put all your chips in the basket with Google. Don't do it the easy, cheesy way. Go out there, right around your vicinity. Every business, everyone that has a client database is a value to you that you know and you're a value to them, which you're going to let them know if you follow my advice. Listen, we all know, and if you don't, I'm going to tell you, your client base, your what we call database is the most important part of your business. Really, it's the most important part of your life because you have something that's sellable. Do you understand that when you have clients, when you are a C, I call it a C-O-N, C-O-I-N, a coin, a center of influence network, you built value in yourself. You're a coin or you're looking for coins. That stands for a center 
of Influence Network. Now, let me explain. If you get in bed or meet a realtor, that's great. You're going to build a referral source if you follow my advice. But if you're friends or you get close to a realtor broker, then that's a coin. That's the center of influence network because a broker has a bunch of realtors underneath them. But that's okay. Let's just start off with you having a friend that's a realtor. A realtor, excuse me. You can tell them every time they meet a person or potential client to list their home for sale, you want to give them these gift cards and you want them to hand them out. And what you're going to do is you're going to give them a letter with the gift cards. You're going to put it in a nice little gift card envelope. You're going to do all the work for them and you're going to give them this. On the front of the envelope, it's going to say a gift for you. And so you do it all the work, put their name on the letter. I have the letter here if you're interested in my program, or I'm telling you so you can design it yourself if you can do it. And you want to go out there and you want to meet realtors individually. You want to take them out for breakfast. That's right. Get $10, get $15. Just meet them in the coffee shop. Tell them you have a great program that you're working with realtors and you want you wanted to buy them a cup of coffee and just share it with them. They will appreciate that. You want to have all the letters with their information all on it, ready to go. You want to have the envelopes. I'm trying to get the letter here. You want to have everything ready to go for them. You want to fold this nice and neat, the gift cards will go in the middle, and you put them right in the envelope. And you want to give them about 10 of them. And you want to tell them to hand them out to all their potential listings or anyone that they get in contact with or any clients they're already dealing with. This is a gift for them to give to their client that won't cost them anything, but it's a gift for their client to get a gift card for your services of $20 off. It's a thank you from them for doing business, and it's a new client for you. Everyone wins. Everyone. Now, if you take this and you tuck this under your arm and run for daylight, what I'm telling you right now, you're going to have work and referrals coming at you left and right. You're going to leave Google and Facebook in the dust because these are pre-qualified clients from people that already know you that refer are referring people to you. You'll be able to charge more. You'll be respected more. And you will want to grow your business this way. But the important thing is you have to pay the 10%. That's what, what happens. Whenever a realtor refers you or anyone, you want to give them a 10% referral commission. So if it's a $200 job, you want to give them a $20 thank you. If it's a $2,000 job, you want to give them a $200 thank you. And you must do this. You can't skip out and say, you know what? They don't, they're not going to mind. They just wanted to refer me because I'm a good guy. No, that's not business. That's not the way this program that I'm telling you is going to work. Yes, everyone is not going to do this. I get that because, see, you have to be hungry. You have to want to change your mind of the way of thinking. You want to have to want to build your business on referrals and referral solely. You want to build your business so you don't have to rely on any type of uh, paid marketing, institutional marketing, and things like that. You want to work from the inside out. Listen, it's not easy to do what I'm saying, but see, 
Anything that comes easy goes easy. When you put when you put your best foot forward first, you know what's going to happen? It's going to pay off. And you're going to have a real good, strong database. But see, it doesn't just work with realtors. This works with anyone you know that's in business for themselves. Anyone. If you have family members that own a business, if you have family members that have some type of um, network, this will work. You're tapping into their network. You're giving them these letters and gift cards as a thank you or an, or an introductory way to get you in to their network. You know, if you're in BNI or Latip or any other one of those um, breakfast groups that we all try to get into to hope that we get referrals, do you know you can meet with these individuals in your BNI group, in your LATIP group, individually. You can meet with them a half an hour before the breakfast meeting starts, or you can meet with them a half an hour after the business meeting's over. You want to get them by themselves. You want to give them these letters and gift cards and you want to tell them, you know what? I know we're in this group to refer each other, but I want to help you, um, you know, refer me to make it easier. And I'm going to give you a 10% referral commission. So we both make some money. Now, some, some of them might say, oh, no, I'm going to refer you. That's what we're in this group for. So that's my, that's my duty. No, I hear all that. That is our duty for being in this group. But I'm not talking about the group. I'm talking about me and you making some money. So if you drop out this group or if I drop out this group for any reason whatsoever, you and I still have a way that we will connect and make money with each other. All the beauty salons that you drive by, all the dry cleaners that you drive by, any little business businesses that I can't think of um, that you drive by, like mom and pop shops, all of these companies or businesses have what you need. They have clients. This is host parasite marketing. They're the host and you're the parasite. You want to get in to their network and you want to Get in that way by giving them this letter and gift card to give to their clients or their network as a free gift from them advertising you. And in the process, they get $20 off. And then because they did this and they agreed to the program and as an incentive to really make sure they give your stuff out, you're going to give them. 10% of whatever you whatever business comes in. This is how you build friendships. Now, Antoine Evans told you last night about relationships. Well, y'all know me. I always like to go one step further. I have a relationship with people that I see in a grocery store that I might see in passing, that I might work with temporarily. But I have friendships with people that I care about, that I want to help be successful. And if they're my friend, then they want to help me be successful too. So Antoine was right in guiding you to understand that you want to build relationships. But Roger Lloyd is sitting here telling you that I want you to go one step further. I want you to build friendships. So when the times come, when all the carpet cleaners in the group say, you know what? I'm real slow right now. I'm real slow. It's so slow. What should I do? Should I pump up my advertising on Google? Should I pump up my advertising on Facebook? No, no, and more no. 
Let me think about this. Let me help you think about this. If you're doing something and it doesn't seem to be working, you think you should do more of it? Now you're just a fool. You're just throwing money or whatever you're doing away. No, you have to change up the algorithm. Or you have to do something that's much more sturdier, like building friendships with other local businesses that are trying to do one thing, the same thing you're trying to do, make a living. But here you come with your sharp marketing skills and ideas through their door, and you tell them you have a program that can help the both of you make some money. But not only both of you make some money, both of you look good in the interim. Hey, what's your best asset, sir? What do you mean? They're your clients, right? Oh, yeah, yeah, I, I get yeah, it, yeah. Well, so what I would like to do, I would like to give you some gift cards with my letter to give all your clients, people that give you money for your services or your products, a thank you. People care about that. People appreciate that. So in the interim, by you giving them this thank you, which is my $20 off my services, which is carpet cleaning, which everybody needs, but nobody wants to do. This is your way of thanking them for being such a great client and in the interim, introducing them to a good company that offers services that they need otherwise that they don't want to do themselves. Are you guys with me? Are you understanding what I'm saying right now? The only way that you will have to pay anything on the front end with this idea is the little bit of printing that it'll cost you to print up these letters and to get the gift cards made. All the big money that you would have to pay out, which would be the 10% referral commissions would be on the back end. Now, another thing, if you do start this idea or pursue down this path that I'm talking about, you cannot be the cheapest carpet cleaner. You cannot be no $15, $20, or $30 a room carpet cleaner. You have to start out at at least $45, if not $50 a room, so it makes it worthwhile for you, the referral source, and your employee to stay with you and want this program to go forward. Listen, you can go out tomorrow. You can go to all the local businesses right around you. The first thing you want to do is just go in, collect their business cards. What you need to know is their name, their business, so you can come back to your home or your office or whatever you got, and you can print these letters up. And then it has their name and their business on it. Anytime you shine a light on an individual, they're interested in what you have to offer because you're making them look good. So you take this letter back and the gift card back to, to their location that you got the business card from. And you say, you know what? I just want you to look at, do you have a second? I just want you to read this. And they read the letter that's offering their clients a free carpet inspection and a $20 gift card. And if you don't have a letter that, or don't know how to put the letter together, I have one for you. It's $50, and I'll email it right over to you. And you just um, put your clients or your referral source's name on it and um, their information, and you go out there. 
You collect the business cards, you fill in the letter that you were purchased from me, and you use this as your key for them to refer you. Now, a gift card, you can go on Vistaprint and you can design a gift card or you could use one of their gift cards and put your logos and all that on your gift card, your services, and you can do that yourself. And then you can just order you, order you about a hundred of them to get started for like, I don't know, $9.99, $12.99, something cheap like that. And then you go out there and you go to work and you go to build your business. But you're not going to build it the cheap way. This will not work if you're a cheap carpet cleaner. If you're going out there and you're doing whole three rooms for $99 or something like that, and you go to the referral source and you go back and you say, here's $10, thank you for referral. No, that's not going to work. This is designed for you to go get a good referral, go to the person's house, look over their carpet, charge $45. The fifty dollars a room, and make you some money. So if you're in their house for two hours doing three rooms of carpet, you done made you one hundred and fifty dollars. You know, we've been struggling with this industry and this business so long because nobody will tell you how to go out there and really get started. My name is Roger Lloyd and I'm trying to help you. You don't have to listen to me. There's so many other guys helping you, telling you their opinions and their views and how they do business. But I'm giving you a strategy, a strategy that will almost cost you nothing to get started, but a strategy that if you keep in it, if you follow it, follow the path, it will grow your business quickly and efficiently and most of all profitably. That's all we want. If you can build friendships with other local business owners and help them make some money, tax-free dollars in the interim, you're not going to just become a carpet cleaner superhero. You're going to become a superhero to these people. They're going to respect you because you're helping putting dollar bills in their pocket. And more so than nothing else, they're going to want to refer you. The law of reciprocity will kick in. You gave them something they feel obligated to want to give back. You know, I was working late tonight, so I'm still in my uniform. I'm tired. But these were referrals that came to me. So I had to make sure that these people were happy, that they, they really got what they were told they would get from the referral source. It's up to you. It always was, and it always will be. So what are you going to do about it is the question. You have so many people out here that are giving you tips on how to clean something. I want to help you get the tips on how to get the people to clean them. Because people do need your services. People do want a quality cleaner. But that's the thing. You have to be quality. I can't tell you what quality is for you. Only you can. But one thing I won't tell you, I would never tell you not to listen to someone in the industry, even if they aren't giving you the advice that I feel as though they should give you. Because you know why? If they can show you a system where they're working every day and they're making money, then so be it. Who am I to be arrogant and tell you, oh, no, don't do it this way. Don't do it this way because there's so many uh, 
people that are telling you in the industry that you have to do this and science this and science. Yeah, science this and science that. I agree. But you know what? This guy's making money. He's showing you that he's making money. So all I'm saying is if you don't agree with him, you just don't follow his strategy. But don't go on, don't go live and tell the whole, everyone out here in the industry that you're, that these people are wrong. They're doing something that's taking care of their families and that are making money. I may not agree with it, but that's me. There are people that you can go in and clean for that aren't going to hound you about vacuuming their carpet. And they may vacuum it themselves before you, they, you get there. But, no, I vacuum their carpet. I do. That's my preference. But if you don't, that doesn't make you a bad guy. That just makes you do it the way you do it. Remember, there's no industry. There's nothing governing this industry. There's nothing forcing us to do this one way. So we have to accept and appreciate the way everyone does it. If they have a system and they're willing to show you their system, kudos to you. And welcome to the carpet cleaning world. I may not agree with it, but you have a system and your system is going to touch and help someone. You know, at 50 or 60 years old, you have to learn. You had to do something if you made it this far. And no, it may not be the IIC um, certified way. But listen, until the IICRC becomes the governing, the governing uh, way of doing things where the government says you have to, you must have this certification to be in the carpet cleaning, to be considered a carpet cleaner, then that's different. But while everyone can run out here with CRBs and clean carpets, they can run out here with rotaries and clean carpets, and then you have the guys that spend the big money and buy the vans and the truck mounts. No one's saying that you have to do it any of these ways. No one's going to lock you up. No one's going to take your license. So you find whatever way works for you. And then if you need some help marketing it, then I'll help you. Or someone else may help you. But change got to come. Change is going to come in this industry. Now, before I wrap it up, I want to tell you, if you haven't tried Soap Daddy's cleaning products, I urge you to try them. DeAndre Winston is the founder and the owner of Soap Daddy Products. The website is mysoapdaddy.com. I urge you to try some of his products. They are very good. And they're only doing one thing for me, helping me make money. I asked DeAndre Winston to come in and join my, my path for trying to help the industry by being an administrator in this group so he could really help you understand what types of spots and chemicals you should use to get out different things. And he has been here with me, helping me over the last year or so. Also as Antoine Evans, you know him. He's the let's talk about it guy. He's passionate, he's hungry, and he's hyped to get this cleaning industry in the right direction. I also asked him, and then you've all seen and met Janae Raleigh Lloyd, my lovely wife, who is trying to help you with your phone skills 
so you don't sound like you're angry or tired or just miserable when these people call you and want to give you some money. Like you're doing them a favor, really? No, buddy, you're not. They're doing you one. So my wife tries to help you understand how you should sound and what you should say to make you sound professional on the phone. And for you guys that are struggling and you don't even have the real equipment that you need, I have someone that will help you with credit. They will help you. These are the things that will help you get what you need to have a carpet cleaning business. You can go to the IICRC all day long. They're not going to help you buy equipment. So what you want to do then? <laughs> yeah. See, before you can get all these certifications and be told which way to do things and all this and that, you have to make sure you're credit worthy. You have to make sure you're business worthy. If you won't take what I'm saying and build you some referral sources, you're not even business worthy. I don't care if you charge $30 a room or if you charge $100 a room. If you're not going to go out there and meet the people that can put you in front of their network, you got a real uphill battle. If you think Facebook and Google is going to be what you need by itself, you have an uphill battle. Let's try to love on each other in this industry as much as we hate on each other. Yeah, you didn't think about that, did you? So you know what? I want you to think about what I said tonight, and I'm hoping that you will get a grip and you will want something better for yourself because change is going to come. It is. So why don't you be a part of it? Go out here. If you, It is the season of giving. People will appreciate you wanting to give them something to give to their clients that won't cost them anything. It's the season of giving. We're past Halloween now. It's Thanksgiving, the season of giving, starting with Thanksgiving. And then we got Christmas, right? Let's let the change come. Carpet cleaners, members of the carpet cleaning world. There are some good guys in this industry that are trying to help you in your venture from making money for yourself. Don't let the negativity and the contamination of this industry plague you. Listen to this song. Listen to the words. Change is going to come for the carpet cleaning industry. You mark my words. Carpet Cleaning World. This is Roger Lloyd, and this was another episode of Friday Night Insights. You take care now.